Saturday the 15th of September is the day that we will be getting married. From a little girl I always wanted to have a two, three day wedding. Um, an American kind of a big house. Um, so what I've done is I've hired I've hired a house in um, in Falongley, and we're having a pre-wedding party on the Friday. We're having a barbecue. Um, there's about 90 family and close friends. Um, 25 of them will be staying at the house with me, and the others will be staying in a local hotel. So I've got um, live music, a band. It's got an outdoor swimming pool. Um, just somewhere where people can chill out and have a, a garden party, not too late because obviously we've got a really early start Saturday morning. I think hair and makeup starts around 6am. It's called the High House and that's in Philongley um, and that's where I'll be for the, for the weekend. And then we'll be going to the Heart of England Conference Centre um, for our main reception. We have two little boys so I'm looking forward to that um, we've just sort of concreted our family really. Um, we've been together for almost 10 years. Um, I'll have the same name as our boys um, and it's just about us continuing our future together. Um, we've known each other a long time um, and yeah just moving forward really. Hi, I'm Chris, I'm the best man. Tony, boy Tony, is my brother. Um, I'm looking after him, making sure he actually gets here on time, just about, and that goes through with it. It's gonna be one of the happiest days of his life, and I'm um, really proud of him. But it's gonna be a beautiful day. Um, it's gonna be, for me, one of the biggest weddings that I've been to. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. Today is the wedding morning. I'm feeling okay at the moment. Probably a little bit emotional. Um, we've got a couple of hours to go and then I'll be at the church. There'll be lots of tears, particularly in about 45 minutes when the ceremony starts downstairs. Hi, I'm Alex. This is Costa. With the musicians for today, I play the laudon. Costa plays the violin and we sing for the blessing for the, the bride or the groom uh, while the family come and they, they light incense and uh, and bless the bless the bride and groom so they can go on and have a wonderful marriage and a wonderful life hopefully. And then we put the ribbon on them so they can have lots of babies as well. It's brilliant. <laughs> God bless. Very well sir. <laughs> there won't be any plate smashing on the wedding day. Um, that's quite um, a Greek tradition. Um, we're more sort of Cypriot. Um, the other traditions that we will be following there's something called a stolisma, which is when the bride gets ready um, on the morning of the wedding day and there's a ceremony where her family um, have a scarf and bless her with like um, burning incense and there's a violinist um, and that's really um, really quite emotional um, that's quite quite usual and we'll also be having the mini dance where um, guests can participate in pinning mini to us it's normally close family um, but they're the main traditions and our entrance will be a little bit of a tradition but more of our, our village because the village that my dad's from in Cyprus is a Maronite village um, and they have a, they have a, a slightly different way of, way of entering which is a, a particular type of instrument and the family sort of bring the bride and groom onto the dance floor. After Tony proposed, I started looking at what type of wedding I wanted and did a lot of research on sort of on the colours and the design and, and what I would like. Um, and then after speaking to H and the team, we decided that the main the main reception would be done done by H and Kieran, um, and we come up with some ideas together. Um, things like I really like ceiling pieces and, and floral hanging from the ceilings and then when I discussed it with H we, we both had kind of that Lebanese inspiration in common um, and then I started looking at, at my drinks reception and at, in the beginning I wasn't too bothered about a cake but then the cake actually becomes quite a big part of the uh, of the whole decor and everything had to tie in and, and that's where it's been really so it's all been about flowers, um, lots of flowers. My house is covered in flowers, I could open a florist. As well as the team 
doing all my floral pieces. I've also done a lot myself, so my table arrangement. Um, you have to pick a flower from a vase that's labelled A to Z, and you go from that, you find your name, tell them you go to tea, you pick the tea, um, you pick your name, and on the back of it, you tell your seat number. I'm really looking forward to our big day on Saturday. Um, there's been a lot of planning gone into it. I'm really looking forward to Tony's, um, my partner's face because he hasn't got a clue as to what's going on. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it all coming together and just everybody really having a good time and having a good party. So the truth, uh, I'm, I'm a bit anxious, a little bit nervous uh, and excited all at the same time to be, to, to be honest. Uh, I can't really put it into words. I, 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 we've been together a really long time, and we've like been waiting nine, nine plus years to see her in a wedding dress. And I, I love her millions, and I'm, I'm sure she's going to look absolutely beautiful. And I chose to get married at St Chad's Cathedral. Um, I am Catholic, and B, it's um, it's close to my heart. As my parents got married there um, over 30 seven years ago. I was baptised there and so was my brother and our youngest son Isaac was also baptised there. Um, I also know the priest, um, Canon Jerry, quite well. Um, and it's not, it's not an everyday thing to get married at the cathedral. Um, I've had to sacrifice some of my wants. Um, I wanted a gospel choir, but it wasn't possible because of it being a, a Catholic cathedral. I've had to go along with um, some of the stipulations and rules.